Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. Here's why an abbreviated take back on your serve is the way to go for most people out there. Think about it this way. The shorter your backswing is, the less room there is for mistakes. So you're not going to be changing your backswing and having slight twitches in your backswing motion quite as often, which means you're going to get into your trophy position way more consistently. So that means it's easier to learn and it's easier to execute the same way over and over again. Now you might say that a shorter backswing will keep you from hitting hard serves because you don't have that start of the momentum here on the backswing that can be used to accelerate into the ball. Now the thing is that the trophy position itself is called the trophy position because you stop in that spot. So that means that even if you have a long take back, if you have a good serve, you will always finish roughly in the trophy position. If, on the other hand, you do a shorter take back, you will do the same exact thing. You will stop in the trophy position. So the actual acceleration towards the ball will start from the trophy position and not from the take back no matter if you have a long take back or a short take back, as long as your technique is on point. Aside from that, you also have two more benefits. The first one being that because you have such a short backswing motion, you can actually wait for the ball to get into the right spot for you to start hitting it. So you're never going to feel rushed because you're already ready to start hitting the ball most of the time while the ball is still moving upwards. So it will be a lot calmer in your motion and a lot easier to control and thus also more consistent and more accurate. Now the second benefit is that you can now even toss the ball lower. Now why is that a benefit? Because a lower toss, first of all, is again easier to control because if you're, wrong, if you're off of the angle of your toss by just a little bit, that won't have as much of an impact of the direction of the ball toss if the toss is lower compared to when the toss is really, really high. Now that means a shorter toss makes it a lot easier to control the toss, but also now the, when the ball is coming down and you're ready to hit it, the ball will actually be a lot slower than if you toss it up a lot higher. So that gives you a bigger time window to actually hit the ball in the sweet spot. So what you want to do is you want to actually adjust your tossing motion according to the length of your take back. So when you work with that short take back, you could even start with a take back first, then toss the ball. And now you have a lot of time to actually load, make sure that you're ready to push off of the ground, stay in the trophy position, retain your balance, and then start the motion and accelerate into the ball to hit that ace. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.